Hi everyone and welcome to today's workout. It is all about bringing our body back. This workout is designed for women over the age of 40 and today we're going to get back to shaping our body and incinerating calories. Grab a set of dumbbells, grab your mat and let's begin. Okay, let's begin with our warm up. Just having your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and just rolling those shoulders back one at a time. And then when you're ready, just reverse that and roll it in the opposite direction. Just adding that twist by pivoting on your foot and that will just protect your knees as we do this warm up. Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale and just soften those knees. Inhale, reach up and exhale. Inhale and exhale inhale and exhale last one and exhale good job okay just reaching over to the side side to side just opening up through that rib cage for me just feeling that stretch and just allowing our body just to get movement before we get started and we're going to take a nice big deep breath in and exhale as you just allow yourself to sink down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, when you're ready, let's begin. Grab your set of hand weights. Have your feet shoulder distance apart. And when you are ready, you're going to join me. You're going to breathe in, bend those knees. And as you breathe out, do a bicep curl. Inhale, shoulder press and exhale as you bring those arms to your side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. So we're working our legs and our arms, our shoulders and our back muscles all in this one exercise. We're also working our calves and we're working into our balance as well. We are working our bone density. Ladies, by doing these strengthening exercises, we truly are slowing down the effects of aging. The trick is to do them with correct technique. So I want you to do slow and controlled. So this time I want you to have your feet shoulder distance apart once again, and we're going to work the back of the arm. So exhale, push those arms back, and then inhale. And as you exhale, twist the body doing a knee lift, and that's going to give us that challenge of our balance muscles working in those deep core muscles in our tummy area so we do a tricep kick back as we do a squat reaching standing in good posture and twist inhale to the center exhale and twist keep going for me and have everything nice and controlled try to avoid any wobbles and exhale listening to your breath, doing one movement at a time. We're now doing a side lunge reach and a side bend. Side lunge reach and a side bend. Now this exercise actually burns quite a lot of calories. When you bring your body into these side movements, you actually burn more calories. And we're also working those tiny muscles in our waist area and still continuing to strengthen through our legs. So when you're ready, we do an exhale as we come over and inhale. Exhale as you bend and inhale. Keep going for me, always listen to your body. And if you feel like you've done enough, just have a break and wait for the next exercise to come along. Okay, this next one works our back muscles and our shoulders we're going to look fantastic all righty let's go again so we bend those knees and we pull those elbows back and then we straighten up and then we alternate one arm at a time into what we call a front raise so inhale bend exhale pull back inhale and exhale and then lifting one arm at a time bringing your arms in line with your shoulder inhale exhale so this is a bent over row followed by a front raise working those shoulders being aware of your posture throughout these movements so just make sure your chin is tucked you're drawing your abdominals into your lower back for me and just concentrating on correct technique all right let's get to the floor 
If you would like my free training on how to lose weight after the age of 40, be sure to click on the link below and receive your masterclass absolutely free that will show you the steps needed to get your body back. Now we're on the floor into our side bend exercise. So when you're ready, coming to your side, just making sure your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder for me and you lift your hips up. And as you lift up, it's as if there's an imaginary fire underneath your rib cage and you pull away from it. And then you do what we call thread the needle. So you are twisting the torso as you bring those arms through and back to your starting position. This exercise helps to strengthen your core muscles and also helps you through your waist and your oblique area. Pilates is fantastic for restoring our posture. Alrighty, keep that going for me. Listen to your body once again. And we're coming into our next exercise, half roll down. So sitting on your bottom for me. Now, the further you go back, the more challenging this exercise is. So please listen to your body. If it's too challenging to go all the way back, just go back a little bit for me, but always finish in good posture. So imagine someone's punched you in the belly. You roll off what we call our sit bones, and then you float one arm at a time behind your head, and then you come out through the crown and sit up nice and tall. As you inhale, punch in the belly, draw your navel to your lower back and exhale as you come back. And then you're bringing one arm at a time over your head and then you roll out through the crown, sitting up in good posture. Inhale, pelvic tilt, exhale, roll off your sit bones and then float one arm at a time. And it's those arms behind your head that are challenging your tummy muscles to keep you in good posture. Okay, we're coming into the other side for our side bend. So when you're ready, laying down on the other side for me and just stack those legs, knees are bent and join me when you can. So you inhale, lift up and as you exhale, twist and thread the needle and then coming back down to your starting position. Lift those hips up, twist the body as you thread the needle and coming all the way back down. Lift. Keep lifted as you twist. Imagine there's a fire underneath your rib cage and you want to get away from that imaginary fire. Working all through your torso and your core and your balance muscles and twist. Also working your shoulders with a bit of stabilizing work. Okay, our next exercise. Now this one is a great wrist strengthening and tummy strengthening exercise. So you're on your hands and toes and you lift your knees, float them just above the floor and you hold that for a few counts. Now I'm just showing you here for those of you that maybe have wrist issues, just to make a fist. And what that'll do is it'll take that flexion out of the wrist and it will just make it that little bit easier for you. Every time I float those knees off, I'm drawing my abdominals in toward my lower back and just holding that position, strengthening your arms, your wrists, your tummy. It's a fantastic strengthening exercise. Our next one is for our lower back. So when you're ready, laying down on your tummy for me, and I want you from here to lift your chest right up to the bottom of your rib cage off the floor. Now you'll notice I'm lengthened through the crown. So I'm not looking straight ahead, but rather continue to look down at the floor. And I'm keeping my feet down on the floor while I do this movement. Exhale. And if you would like an extra challenge, as you exhale and lift, straighten those arms down by your side. And as you inhale, bring them back to your starting position. Exhale and lengthen and inhale. Now, this is fantastic for all those back muscles. Once again, helping with your posture, keeping your body youthful and looking nice and young. We're now coming into push-ups, girls. So having your arms quite wide, have your hands wider than your shoulders. That'll take the pressure off your shoulders and that will give you a bit more chest strengthening, uplifted breasts, girls. So I want you to inhale as you bend your elbows and lower to hover above the floor and exhale as you push that floor away. Inhale and exhale. Just remembering you're lowering the whole torso down. Don't try and just drop your head down while doing this, but rather draw the tummy in, 
draw, lower the whole torso and then as you exhale, push that floor away and squeeze your chest muscles together. Our last exercise today is our shoulder bridge. So I'm wanting you to come up into a shoulder bridge position and then paste one vertebra at a time back down into the floor. So we inhale as we flatten the lower back and exhale as we peel off into the, our shoulder bridge position. Now we're going to bring our arms into what we call arrows. So bring them up above your chest and keep them there. And you're going to peel off your spine one vertebra at a time. Raise those hips up, squeeze your bottom cheeks tightly together and then paste all the way back down to the floor. So this one is helping to strengthen your bottom muscles, your core muscles, your hamstrings. And it's just a fantastic exercise to give mobility back into your spine at the same time. Just make sure your chin is tucked and you've not got your head, um, your vertebras in your neck uh, shortened, but rather lengthened. Okay, just one more. There we go. Girls, we're up to doing a lovely stretch. So when you're ready, I want you to stretch up for me and then just bringing those arms down to the side. Coming into a spine roll, just rolling down one vertebra at a time and then slowly stack one vertebra on top of another. Come back into your standing position. Bring those arms over your head as you breathe in and gently push those hips forward and as you breathe out, come back into prayer position. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, twist the torso. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hands to side and as you exhale, reach over to one side. Inhale to the center and exhale. It's all about mobility, having the body lower inflammation and coming into rest and repair. Let's come into that again. Inhale, link your fingers and as you exhale, stretch the body forward. Inhale, reach up over the head, feel that stretch through the body and exhale, bring your arms down to the side. Inhale as you drop your chin down and slowly spine roll down to the floor. And exhale as you stack one vertebra on top of another, back to your starting position. Inhale, reach over your head, gently pushing those hips forward and exhale back into prayer position. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, twist the torso, inhale to the center. Exhale and twist and inhale to the center. Inhale, arms to side and as you exhale, reach over the body, painting a rainbow as you exhale and inhale. And when you're ready, exhale prayer position and drop the chin to your chest. Let's go one more time. Inhale, link those fingers. And as you exhale, reach. And inhale, bring those arms to the side. And as you exhale, come into a spine roll. And just allowing mobility through the spine. Ragdoll those arms. When you're coming back, take a breath in. Reach up over the head and exhale back into prayer position. Inhale here and as you exhale, twist the torso, inhale to the center. Exhale, twist and inhale to the center. Exhale, hands to the side and as you exhale, come into a stretch for me. Inhale, exhale, stretch and inhale. Exhale, coming into prayer position and chin down. Okay, thanks for joining me everyone. High five. <laughs> See you next time.